It took over 6,000 gallons of water to extinguish the flames emitted from this Tesla Model S. EVs can be especially dangerous when they catch fire. EVs aren't a new phenomenon, and many have had reservations about joining the electric revolution because of them for years. However, recent events have even started to worry those who genuinely like them. You've seen the pictures on the news. EVs blazing, that massive boat that caught fire. These types of fires burn extremely hot, and due to the contained energy in the battery, can restart after it looks like it's out. Join us as we explain how fires are causing a devastating insurance premium shortage that could derail the EV revolution. Do you own an EV? Is it parked in your garage? How about in a tower block? Well, you're probably going to get a nasty shock when it comes time to renew your insurance. In recent times, fire incidents have been posing an extra challenge for the electric vehicle industry, which is already dealing with cost issues and infrastructure limitations. Beyond the loss of lives in these high-profile fires, there is a risk that these incidents could hinder the progress of electric transportation. There have been several cases of electric vehicles catching fire in recent times, raising questions about their reliability reliability and safety. For example, in April 2022, a Tesla car crashed into a tree in New Hampshire and burst into flames. The fire was so intense that it reignited hours later at a tow yard. Another example is in August 2022, when BMW recalled some of its electric models because of a potential fire hazard in their batteries. The latest company to face this problem is Nikola Corp, which is named after the famous inventor Nikola Tesla. Nikola Corp is a manufacturer manufacturer of electric trucks that use battery or hydrogen fuel cell technology. The company announced that it was recalling all the battery-powered trucks that it had sold so far and stopping new sales until further notice. The reason for this decision was that an investigation found that a leak in the coolant system inside the battery pack could cause a fire. There were a total of 209 battery-powered electric trucks in the marketplace between dealers and customers, and the company is recalling those vehicles and is in the process of contacting all parties. A separate investigation conducted by a third party also supported the initial findings. This was reinforced when a small incident involving heat occurred in one battery pack of a parked engineering validation truck. The good news, though, is that nobody was hurt in this incident. Nicola mentioned that it is unlikely that any intentional harm or external factors caused the incident. They are taking steps to find a solution to the problem. Initially, the company suspected foul play when they began investigating in June. This was triggered by fires in trucks located at their headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona. Additionally, one of the damaged trucks, which was being monitored at the Phoenix site, caught fire again last month. Nikola has delved into internal investigations with its safety and engineering teams to uncover the root cause behind a series of alarming vehicle fires. These investigations have pointed toward a specific component with the battery pack. Supply by a single manufacturer, which appears to be the likely source of the coolant leaks that ultimately led to the vehicle catching fire. However, these revelations arrived during a period of significant challenges for Nikola. The company has been grappling with a series of supply chain issues that have hampered its production efforts, while also contending with softer demand for its electric trucks. In response to these difficulties, Nikola has taken a strategic pivot in its manufacturing approach. It has opted to shift its focus away from producing a large stock of battery electric trucks, instead choosing to manufacture these vehicles only upon receiving specific orders. The company also announced that it will shift its focus toward hydrogen-powered vehicles. In an effort to steer the company through these challenges and changes, Nikola announced the appointment of its new CEO, Steven Gursky a former executive from General Motors. This leadership transition marks the fourth CEO change within a span of just four years, underscoring the company's dynamic nature and the evolving landscape it operates in. In the midst of all these, Nikola has also encountered significant financial problems. Basically, EVs are bankrupting the company, and the company has expressed significant concerns about its ability to remain financially stable in the coming year. This same thing has been reiterated for the third time since February, 
signaling the urgency of securing additional capital to sustain its operations. As Nikola awaits what it deems critical additional funding, it faces a critical juncture that will significantly impact its future trajectory. On a practical note, Nikola has taken proactive steps to address immediate safety concerns. The company issued an advisory on August 11th, urging customers and dealers of its tray battery electric trucks to implement certain safety measures. These measures include considering parking the trucks outdoors, which highlights the company's commitment to prioritizing safety. These developments have inevitably influenced investor sentiment. In pre-market trading on Monday, August 14th, Nikola's shares experienced a notable decline of 14.4%, reaching a value of $1.67. In the meantime, the recent surge of fires related to electric vehicles has had far-reaching consequences, not only causing the loss of lives and property, but also resulting in significant financial burdens. A report by some experts from Idaho National Laboratory showed how these fires can affect the car industry and the insurance industry. The report said that these fires can cause a lot of damage and money loss for the car makers and the insurance companies. They might have to pay a lot of money to fix or replace the cars, or to cover the medical bills of the people who get hurt by the fires. The report also said that these fires can make people scared of electric vehicles. When people hear about these fires, they might think that electric vehicles are not safe or reliable. They might not want to buy them or drive them. They might forget about the benefits of of electric vehicles, such as saving gas and reducing pollution. They might only remember the risks of electric vehicles, such as exploding batteries and burning cars. This can be bad for the future of electric vehicles. If people are afraid of electric vehicles, they might not use them as much as they should. This can slow down the progress of electric vehicles and make it hard for them to become more popular and common. Another major issue that EVs are facing now is the high cost of insurance. A report says that electric car owners have to pay a lot more for insurance than other drivers. This is because electric cars have expensive batteries that are hard to repair or replace. The report also says that there are not enough skilled mechanics who can fix electric cars. This means that many electric cars are declared as total losses after accidents, even if they are not badly damaged. The report was written by Thatcham Research, a company that studies car safety and risks, and Innovate UK, a government agency that supports new technologies. They say that that these problems are not only in Britain, but also in other countries in Europe and the US. They say that urgent action is needed to make electric cars more affordable and reliable. Drivers currently pay an average of $1,668 for their car insurance policy, according to the online insurance agency Insurify. New Mexico, Nevada, and New Jersey are seeing the highest annual rate increases in 2023, with prices soaring to 38%. 36% and 34% respectively. The report suggests some possible solutions, such as improving the design and protection of batteries, creating more recycling options for batteries, and training more technicians who can work on electric cars. The report also calls for more collaboration between car makers, regulators, and consumers to support the growth of the electric car market. In general, driving a car today is more expensive than it was a couple of years ago. Everything is more expensive than before, from fixing your car to paying for medical bills if you get hurt in a crash. Insurance companies are also charging more money to cover these higher costs. Another reason why driving a car is more expensive is the technology and safety features of modern cars. These features make cars safer and smarter, but they also make them harder and more costly to repair. For example, a bumper may have sensors or other parts that can break easily and need to be replaced. The report says that the cost of vehicle maintenance and repair has increased by 12.7% in one year. All these show that electric vehicles still have a long way to go before they can become mainstream and widely accepted by consumers. They also highlight the need for more research and innovation in battery technology and fire prevention methods. Electric vehicles have great potential, but they also have great challenges to overcome. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.